So uh, for every meetup, we have a simple Go pop quiz to test your understanding of Go. <coughs> um, okay, this is the board. So the, the question for today is uh, find out what's wrong with this. Uh, tell me what's wrong with this chord and give me the solution for fixing it. What is it supposed to do? <coughs> it's supposed to print out values. In order? It's supposed to print out 1, 2, 3, right? Yeah, 1, 2, 3. Mm. I think it's going to print out only one number. What number is it? <laughs> 3. Why? Yeah, because um, it's a good concept. It's like a closure. I mean, you should pass it to um, the input the function. Um, because the variable, I mean, um, when you compile it, when the whole function we run at a certain time, I mean, after you you complete the loop, so it will get the, that, the current value, which actually at the end of the array, which is 3. So we will print 3. Okay, three. let's see. It might not be determined. Yes, so that is correct. Um, <coughs> this explanation is also sort of on point. Um, <coughs> so, okay, wh why don't you tell me the solution first? Then, then we can go through the reasoning for this. Uh, you can put the, the value inside uh, the routine. I mean, um, pass it to func. Pass it to func, and so also like, uh, as a bond. So what do I pass? Yes, yeah. So what do I pass? Yes, over there, and also inside the um, the open close bracket. Uh, yes. Yeah. That one also, yes. Yes, it's, it should be, should be okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Oh yes, it's still missing something. Has it has defined the type? Sorry. Okay, yeah, right. The space in. Sorry, I'm a newbie, so. Correct. <laughs> yeah, do you want to explain why? For for those who may be new to this. So in the form, the v variable is actually reduced. Um, yeah. So, which means for every go function, it closes over the v variable. Mm. After the for loop, will be three. Yeah. Wait, but could um could it could the go go routine actually print out one or two? Or I mean is it undefined or No, it's always three because it's in order. It's in order. So it always takes the last value that's passed to it in the for loop. So the first go the first go routine gets scheduled only after the loop ends. Uh, right, that that will have to be true for three to always be printed. Yes. Right? Let's see. So I, I can keep running this and it will keep giving me three. Mm -hmm. what, what it's thousand, very consistent. What, what are the thousand numbers? Does it first go to still scheduled after the for loop ends? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, it doesn't. It shouldn't make a difference whether it's a thousand or whether it's three numbers. Okay. I think. Okay, because the, the for loop doesn't give up control. Yeah. yeah. The, the follow doesn't doesn't yield. Yeah. So uh. So whereas if you if, if you write it like this, you're telling the, you you're telling um the, the 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 go the go function to you you're putting the value on the stack so that when the go routine is called it it calls the the value that's put on the stack. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's all for the simple go. Uh, go pop quiz today. Okay, thank you for coming. Um, yeah, today is a very small group. Uh, usually we have more, but thanks for coming. See you at the next meetup.